rolling. Chris Johnson, Blue Collar Outdoors. Today we have another broadhead test with the old grizzly sticks. Stay tuned. All right, today we have the grizzly stick. All right, this is the Maasai from the Overkill series from the grizzly stick. All right, again, like the last one, I'm gonna read the description off my phone. All right, now this is a 125 grain broadhead. It's a single bevel. The cutting diameter is 1.13 by 2.4 inches. The blades are 0 0.053 thickness. And this is a AU S4 stainless steel blades with a 54 Rockwell hardness. The ferrules are 0.334 and they're razor sharp and ready to hunt, which they really are razor sharp. I mean, not razor, razor sharp, but they're pretty damn sharp compared to other broadheads you get. All right, now from what Jake has been reading online, and I did not know this is something Actually, learned. Iron Will is the one who said Well, wow. okay. Jake read on Iron Will's site, which I've never really looked into or read up much up on. With the single bevels, your fletchings, you wanna have a right helical on, which mine just happened to have that. So these should fly true, but I mean. Not only I, fly true, but allow yeah, it to rotate. It'll also not only fly true, but allow it to rotate as it's penetrating through whatever you're shooting into. Animal, gel. All right, since my bow right now currently is set up for 100 grain broadheads, this being 25 grains heavier, which doesn't really affect the flight too much that we've seen as of right now. We're gonna shoot this through the chronograph with a field point, not the broadhead, to get our speeds down. So it gives you guys a true test of speeds and weights and see how well stuff will penetrate and cut in the gel. All right, now this is the speed test with the same arrow, Kinetic Chaos 340 spine. The only difference is it's a 125 grain tip. Moving this up to a 125 grain makes this a 481 grain arrow. My Matthews Halon 32, 73 and a half pound draw weight with a 29 and a half inch draw. Let's see what speed we get. Good. Yep. Okay. 276 feet per second with 125 grain head. So that's only, what, eight feet per second slower than 100 grain. So it's not a huge difference, but there'll be enough of a difference once you get farther out in yardages. All right, so here we go. 125 grain grizzly stick Maasai. This is rolling. Good to me. Let's go see what the old single bevel did. Should have a twist to it. All right, this was the Grizzly Stick Maasai, 125 grain broadhead. And as you can see, right above it is the other Grizzly Stick, the Silver Flame. And they actually have very similar penetration. This. The only difference is the one is single bevel and the other is just a standard bevel, both sides, double bevel. Yes. <laughs> but you do get a pretty decent wound channel on it. I was expecting really there to, it. I was expecting there to be a little more of a twist going in, being a single bevel as they claim, or other companies claim a single bevels. They are supposed to rotate when they hit, but it may just be because the gel is that dense that it's not allowing it to. I don't really know. All right, we'll look at the entrance wound so that way I can pull it out and we can see. But right there's your entrance wound. It's not real big, but you got about a little over an inch there. Okay, let's pull that joker yeah, out. I'll pull that out so we can actually see the wound channel a little better since it sucks to you. All right, I know there's four broadheads in here. But the one that you're going to want to look at is the second one down. 
and that has a pretty good wound channel to it. Like I said, I thought with this being a single bevel that it would rotate more in there. For some reason, it did not, but we'll be testing this again to see if it does, but it's still a pretty impressive head. I mean, in this line from Grizzly Stick, you get three of them for $55. Now, they do have another line that's more expensive, but I figured just to see how good these were, I would try just their lower range. But from what I can see right now, I'm pretty impressed with what they're doing. I mean, they are keeping up. Or they're doing just about the same as the Iron Wills are that are a hundred dollars for three yeah they're, it's only to, they're double the price the there's not very much of a difference there but there isn't the components though well i mean for i'm just talking about like penetration and stuff i'm pretty impressed with this head so i don't know if there's much more really to say penetration's there all right again this was the grizzly stick Maasai 125 grain pretty impressive little head for 55 dollars for three of them but can't wait to see what this thing will do to a deer. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to have on a couple of my arrows. So hopefully, yes, in what, about two weeks, get to let one fly at a deer. And you'll get to see it. All right, but for now, this is Chris Johnson, Blue Collar Outdoors. If you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we upload. And remember, we're striving towards that 10,000 subscribers. So in order to do that, we're going to need your guys' help sharing our videos to Facebook, whatever social media you're in. And we'll be doing that Stevens 301 giveaway. For those of you that are subscribed, you already know about it. Those of you that are not, you're going to have to subscribe so that way you can get in on it. But until then, we'll see you on the next one.